Hey guys, Vox here, and today I'm going to go over the weapon builds that I'm running. Um, I've already gone over my Thunder Cage in the past, and that has not changed, but the two I want to focus on today are going to be the Devotion and the Afterglow. First thing I'm going to start off with are the substats for the weapon. So, on the Devotion, I've got Crit Rate, um, Attack, Weak Point Damage, and the Colossus Damage. Um, for the weak point damage, I would prefer to have crit damage instead just because the value on it is higher. So if you take a look here, um, base crit is 2x and then weak point is 1.7. So I feel like you'd get more bang out of your buck doing you know, crit damage. And then for the afterglow, I've got losses attack, regular attack, crit rate, and crit damage. And I think this one is perfect as is. Probably won't change anything for it really. So um, yeah. That's what I got, and I'm going to get right into the builds. So to start off here, um, for most weapon builds, you kind of follow this kind of general idea of modding it, which is going to be, you know, attack stuff right here. You got crit damage, crit rate, some weak point damage, and then I like to put fire rate on my weapons. Um, but what I kind of changed here at the very end for these last three mods is I have half aiming. So this really boosts up the weak point damage a lot and it does lose accuracy and personally to me I feel like for a hand cannon you want to have kind of more accuracy in general. So I did have a main compensation to kind of you know balance out the accuracy loss from that and then this also gives me a little bit more crit damage um, and speaking of the little bit of crit damage um, it's why I use the purple fire right here just to boost that a little bit because the kind of 5% difference that you get from fire rate from the blue mod. Um, I kind of felt like no difference from it. So I used this one just to boost damage a little bit. And for my final mod, uh, which is the yellow mod, uh, it's going to be weak point expansion. I like how much it scales, you know, you get 140% weak point damage from it. Um, and uh, if you can hit your shots and really have this proc and have it crit as well, you just do insane damage with that. Um, but if you wanted to, you could swap it out for different things like payout or this one right here, which is pretty much the crit version, I'd say. Um, but I prefer weak point expansion because, you know, if you hit the weak points, you're going to be doing a lot more damage in general uh, with this one. And then for my third and final weapon, which is the Afterglow Sniper, you know, I'm following kind of the staple here, which is going to be, you know, firearm attack damage there. You got crit rate, crit damage, and then weak point damage. And, you know, on the previous weapon I showed the devotion uh, I was using have aiming but heavy weapons don't have that so instead we got focus fire um, this once again boosts the weak point damage that you're going to be having um, and then again I kind of talked about it with the devotion but I also use weak point expansion on here when you do hit the weak points you're going to be doing a lot of damage right there and if it crits you know even better so that is kind of what I use on the sniper as well and for the last two mods I have going here uh we got the X slot right here, so you can switch this out with either what I have now, which is the special round conversion, um, or whatever like round conversion you want. I'm just not using special rounds at the moment. Um, but you can also switch this out with a fire rate. Uh, the only reason I have the conversion there is because I didn't have the M slot here catalyzed yet, so this one kind of just like fit there. But again, you can swap it out. Um, it gives you more fire rate, which is good, and it also gives you a little more crit damage because again, I think. The same kind of goes with the blue mod and the devotion where that 5% is kind of not that noticeable for these weapons um, because their fire rate is already like pretty low. And for the last slot, it's going to be the toxic enhancement or elemental mod. And so I'm going to quickly talk about kind of the good and the bad of the element mods. And the good is that, you know, it adds damage. Nothing is converted. You're just doing more damage in general. But when you kind of dive deeper into it, the problem with the element mods is that they only kind of do more damage based off the crit modifier. They don't have more damage based off um, weak point modifiers. So, for example, on the Devotion, I'm not using an element thing. Um, and that's because I rather kind of stack crit damage and, you know, weak point damage on it. And I feel like on the Sniper, I've pretty much done all I can with that. Um, and there isn't really a better slot to put in the R slot here. But, um, you know, having the damage for you know toxic just adds more to it so that is what i'm running now um but i just wanted to like take a quick note on the element stuff kind of like the plus and small downside of it um so it's up to you what you kind of want to do with that and one more thing i want to kind of add with the weapons here is that i'm not using any kind of like crit rate bonuses besides the blue mod here 
And that's because the weapons in general like already have pretty high crit rate. Um, like for example, the devotion is already at 36%, and they already mentioned that they're gonna buff kind of the crit values, like both the rate and the damage for the weapon. So, you know, that's a plus right there. Um and you know, same thing with the afterglow when you look at the crit rate there, it's already 50%, so that's pretty good. It's pretty much a you know, you crit or you don't crit type deal. And here are the kind of maxed out abilities on the weapons. And now I want to demonstrate the element stuff um, and kind of how it scales with the weak point and crit. So you're going to see how I have both weak point and crit on right now. And the numbers are going to, you know, they're going to stay consistent based mainly off the crit damage. And so I'll show you guys his here. So right there is mainly hitting 16 to 1 8. I'm going to go ahead and remove the crit damage. And right there, I hit for 11278. And just to show that with a weak point damage on here, that will not change. It's going to remain that same number. So because of that kind of scaling right there that it does with the element damage, um, it's kind of like the reason I'm not running that on my devotion right now. Because um, honestly, if you can hit your shots, if you hit the weak points, like you're going to be doing a lot of damage regardless. Um, you know, having like all these weak point stuff like expansion and, you know, have aiming, like you're going to be doing a lot of damage. So realistically, the element is not that needed. Um, so that is why I don't have it on my build right now. Um, but yeah, just wanted to demonstrate that real quick. So that just about does it here for the weapons video and kind of the mods that I'm using on them. Um, you know, next up is most likely going to be Ultimate Valby. Um, I've been waiting for Valby for a while. I just didn't want to build up my current one since, you know, the Ultimate one is coming out soon. So look forward to that in the future. Um, but besides that, thank you guys for watching. You know, I hope this helped someone out there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.